Hello everybody, this is Bluestone. Welcome back to the Pyramid Labyrinth. And today I want to show you a little trick I've developed that is, that's actually, I've actually used a lot of places in this pyramid. It's uh, chests, loot chests, refilling automatically. So a lot of open world games might have a problem with this, is a player comes to a chest, loots it completely, and doesn't even think about themselves dying and not being able to recover the loot. There's nothing left for them. So how in the world are you supposed to protect the player from stealing all the items and then not being able to retrieve any in the future? The answer to that, well, chests automatically refilling. So the design I've used here is uh, using command blocks that are detecting if the player is in the room or not, and if the player is not in the room, then it resets. So for example, if I you know, break the chest, once I leave, <laughs> the chest resets so the player can't just sit here and just open the chest, close it, open it, no, open, close it, open it, close it, and get infinite items and lag the server to death. No, instead I, I wanted it to wait until the player leaves the room before <laughs> the items respawn. This one is a little bit more complicated and uses uh, an, an if unless player in range command. It's a little bit complicated, but I'll cover that in the video. For this video, I want to show you guys how to make a simple chest that automatically refills itself when the, when the chest closes. So to build one in your world, you'll need some well, some blocks, a chest. I like to use trap chests because they they can have redstone outputs for when they're open and closed, and then command blocks, of course. Let's let's give at S a command block, and we'll take the trap chest wherever you want it. Place a redstone torch on the back of the block that it's on top of. So when we open the chest, the torch tur turns off. You can see the light go away, and when it when we close it, the torch turns back on. We want that torch to power a command block. So we want to say when this when this chest is closed. We want to clone a brand new one, a template, back into its location. So to get to get that actual command to move this template chest onto the <laughs> where we want it, we'll take a clone command. So let's say slash clone space tab 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 tab. That's tab six times. Both of these will be the same coordinates because it is it's only one block by one block by one block. And then we want to say the destination will be this redstone torch here where this location is. So boop 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 tab 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 and enter, and there we go, we just cloned that chest to here. Notice there's nothing in it because, well, <laughs> there's nothing in the template. So if we put something in there, and we tell, and we or I'll close this chest to tell the command block to activate. Oh dear, that didn't work. Oh, <laughs> I didn't punch the command in. So of course you need to put the command that you used to clone into the command block, so once you close the chest, the command will run, clone the template onto the location, and there you go, you got the key, or redstone torch, whatever it is. And you can keep on doing this, keep on opening and closing it, keep on opening and closing and getting infinite torches, because this chest cannot be exhausted by the player. Of course, you might want to put a limit on this. This is kind of overpowered. All the player has to do is sit there, keep on opening the chest, opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing to get millions of, well, whatever item you put in there. So, you could put a timer on it. So let's put a decay clock on this thing. Let's say, if the player has activated this thing, let's actually move this command block a little bit farther back, and then a torch here. Let's put it here. All right, so we're going to say still, this chest will power that torch with the redstone dust. Still works, but instead of completely er, activating instantly, we want this thing to last a little bit. So let's put a repeater on here first, coming out like, uh, well, let's do it like this so it's deeper. We can punch this into a decay clock, so let's do only two comparators for now, and then of course you can increase the timing if you like, uh, if you feel like your design needs it. So we we'll put it into a K clock. So what happens here is when the chest is opened, it will lock this. Uh, it, it will power up this decay clock, and only when this decay clock is gone, has finished powering. And actually, want to hook this up to the redstone torch. Only when it's done, like so, will this command block output again. So what we have here now is that when we open the chest, it activates it and turn and gets and primes the command block to clone the template back. And then only after a specified number uh, amount of time with a decay clock here will that command block activate and will clone the chest back into the template back into the chest location. This could be compacted down way more, of course. You can put the redstone dust directly underneath this and then the uh, decay clock here exactly. Much more compact, of course. This is just a demo, but this right here is every <laughs> is the circuit I've used on so many refilling loot chests in this pyramid. This right here is just a simple decay clock hooked up to uh, to a chest here. Oh. I need a repeater on it. That's right, because trap chests only only uh, release a power of one. You need to uh, punch it into a repeater first to punch it or to make it power 15 so that it doesn't run out instantly. Because that defeats the purpose of a decay clock if it decays instantly. So we'll punch it in like that. And now, when we activate, it charges up the decay clock, and then when it re when it releases, then it finishes. 
and clones the template back into the chest location. And of course, you can finish this, make it longer by just adding a couple more comparators like so. And now it's twice as long. So when we open the chest, we take the item, we have to wait twice that time. And if we open it again, then it charges up the decay clock again. And we have to wait the, uh, that set amount of time once again. So <laughs> players looting this chest, they have to be a little bit more patient. And of course, you could set this to go on a super long clock to make it nearly impossible to loot. Uh, <laughs> to make it ab abusive, but this is the automatically <laughs> uh, refilling loot chest that I've been using across the pyramid. Feel free to use this in any of your maps, but uh, this is this has been Bluestone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.